What's up you guys, it's Key Amber Vine, aka Coach Key, coming back to you with another video. If you are new to my channel, welcome, and if you're not new, welcome back. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and also tap the bell so that you are notified of every new video that I post. So as you guys can tell by the title of this video, it's time to go through the week three expenses for the March budget, and March for me is a five week pay week. So five weeks worth of expenses. So as you guys can see, I have attached an extra expense tracker. I might have to attach another one because I do still have two weeks left, but we're just going to do one of these numbers here. All right, so I did still have like three more days worth of my travel expenses because my friend did not go home until Monday and my budget resets every Friday. So it was his birthday on the 15th. And so I decided to do, we did a whole bunch of stuff, y'all. A whole bunch of eating mainly. And we had a really good time. So that pretty much finished off my travel budget, basically just while he was here. So I took him to breakfast at Cracker Barrel. Then we ate at the Mad Crab. We basically had the hangry combo, which was like two pounds of snow crab, two pounds of shrimp, two pounds of crawfish, potatoes, and corn, I think it was. And then we both had drinks. Or he might have had a drink and I probably had water. I typically only drink water, honestly. So then we also went to a place for hookah. And yeah, I'm not even going to talk about that. And then we went to the movies. We went to see Captain Marvel. It was pretty good. I ain't gonna lie. I fell asleep in the beginning of the movie. Don't judge me. I was tired. Okay, we did all of this, all this food and everything. I was just tired, y'all. But I only fell asleep like on um, maybe the first 15 to 20 minutes. So I ain't missed that much. Okay, so we're on the next page here and I'm just going to finish this part out. I got some snacks for us. And just to reiterate, the reason why my budget was, what, $2,000 this month for travel is because I took my friend away from his ink. I think he missed like six days of work. So that's six days of income that he does not have. So what? how fair would it be for me to take somebody away from their income and then ask them to pay for half of every... Like, that doesn't even make sense. So for that reason... I pay for the majority of things. I didn't pay for everything, but I pay for the majority of things. And that's how I wanted to do it. So I took him to the zoo. And our St. Louis Zoo <clears throat> is typically top in the nation every year. It's a free zoo. You can park on the street, but it was a big St. Patrick's Day festival. And I did not feel like trying to find parking. So I paid for the $15 parking that was right across the street. And then we ate while we were there. And then I tried to take him to the arch. I paid for the parking. Y'all, we got all the way up inside the arch and not like going to the top of it, which was what we were trying to do. As soon as we got to the ticket counter, it was like, oh, all tram tickets are sold out. I'm like, really? Well, that's nice. <laughs> nice of you to tell us now. Okay, so here I ended up getting a refund for, this was when we were in Denver. <clears throat> it was during the blizzard and I ordered from this place called Big Daddy's Pizza and I ordered half cheese, half pepperoni and they gave me all pepperoni and I was pretty pissed like it took a lot of emailing back and forth with DoorDash before they finally gave me my refund it basically was the my total cost minus the actual cost of making it because of course they can't take like the tip and delivery feedback from the guy but I was happy like after a couple of times of emailing them that they refunded me because I'm like you're trying to tell me that you can't refund me for something that I literally can't eat but yeah so that was that. So I had to add that in. <clears throat> and then I'm going to subtract another 30. Uh, so y'all, this is what's really weird. Maybe I can go back here. Where was it? Oh, it was all the way over here. Remember when I told you guys it was really weird. I had four $10 transactions that were pending because now those apps make you like, um, what do you call it? Reload $10 onto it. And then whatever you don't use stays in the app and you have to like um, hit up the help or support section inside the app to ask them to transfer the rest back to your account. Well, only one of them actually came through. The other three fell off. So it ended up being a $2.60 
refund kind of sort of like not necessarily refund but you know what I mean so then I checked my bank account for this week and finally the other three came through like is that not weird that's so awkward to me but <sighs> whatever so I need to so I added that hold on I did it wrong I added instead of subtracting okay so 585 73 and then so I had 650 left in quarters from um the ten dollar roll that I had from my old laundry remember I had to pay for tires and then I had to pay for one of the tolls on the way back here well I was looking for the quarters so I can put it into my bank account and my friend still had it in his pocket so he was gonna cash app it to me and I was just like dude don't cash at me no damn six dollars and 25 cent or I think it was yeah, it was $6.25. I'm like, no, please keep it and stop playing with me. <laughs> so I'm just going to take it out of my budget. But when I do my paycheck to paycheck budget and reconcile it, you guys will have to check out the next video to see how I reconcile because this was never in my actual checking account to reconcile. Um, so it actually ended up being six fifty that he kept, but I think he had dropped a quarter or something. And so it was in my fanny pack. And so it ended up coming out to basically being a dollar that I still have left on me in cash. Okay, so then Uber refunded me because I used their jump scooter thingy or whatever. And I hadn't even, it's supposed to be free to start in like 15 cents per minute or something. And I was only on it for like three minutes and I parked it and I got a $5.97 charge, I think it was. Was it? Where's Uber at? No, it was $14.74. Yeah, so it was five ninety seven and eight seventy seven. The eight seventy seven made sense because I had stopped the scooter while he was trying to get a scooter to work, and then I restarted it. So they basically told me this was for parking in a no parking zone, but it didn't show up in the app that way. And typically, with most of the scooter apps that are out there, this was on. I think this was in Venice Beach. Yeah, typically, like when you try to park it, it'll tell you this is a no parking zone, park somewhere else type of thing, and it didn't. So they ended up refunding me. So so that was cool. All right. Now let's get to the regular expenses because guess what, guys? My travel budget is done. But you guys can see I still had more than 25% left. So I'm proud of myself because we did a lot, y'all. So gas, we ended at $52. And I just got a car wash. And I typically count the car washes towards my gas. Then miscellaneous. We ended at 121. I'm going to subtract this 927. I bought a birthday card for my grandma and then I needed some water at the time. Let's see. Personal households 7709 is where we ended. I bought these products because I had bought the deep conditioner from this particular line. I think it was last month or the month before. And I, I think it was last month. And I really, really like it, you guys. My hair is like, oh, y'all ain't seen none of that. My hair is extremely dry all the time. That's just my hair texture. But my hair stays so moisturized when I use this deep conditioner. So I just decided to try the, not the whole line, because I don't think I bought the oil or the shampoo but it was two deep conditioners and a leave-in conditioner and it was 25 percent off they're very expensive because they're handmade but it's worth it so i'm still waiting on that to be delivered and i don't have any other personal household so let's go with shopping so i didn't use anything for shopping yet this month so we start with the 125 and i basically purchased this case this little ring thing to stick on top of it. And I forgot what else I got, but, oh yeah. And then I got a 10 foot charger. So for those of y'all with iPhones, if you want a six foot or 10 foot 
cable charger for the iPhones. Get them from Five Below. For me, they've always. My mom has said that she had bad experiences and they don't work anymore. I don't know what she does to her phones because I still have one from like three years ago that still works. And I actually forgot that it was packed up, so I bought another one for no reason. Now they don't work well with charging iPads, but iPhones they work really well. So just a little tip. All right. So for restaurants, we ended at $76.91. Of course, I haven't had any restaurant expenses since week one because all these restaurants were for travel. So, um, yeah, I bought my aunt some Chinese food because we were going out to, I think we were going to this store and she was like, can you pick this up for me? I don't have no money. I'm like, so how you gonna eat? She like, you gonna do your auntie like that? You haven't seen me in so long. I'm like, so if I haven't seen you in so long, because of course I've been gone, why are you asking me to buy you stuff? Like, is this my welcome back? <laughs> but that's just how we are with each other. So I ended the gas at $42. I forgot I had bought gas again, $35.75. So I got $6.25 left. I think that I should be okay. My car is in the shop right now. It's going to be in the shop till the 25th. So I'll have what? Six, like 10 days to use that? Get, yeah, I'll be fine. I'll be absolutely fine. All right. Next is business. And we ended at $121.84. Yes. And I knew I was going to be over budget, but I really wanted this item. And I may go ahead and show you guys this at some point. It'll probably be posted on my Instagram, to be honest with you. But I bought this lighting kit where basically it's like this box. And I really hate the way my thumbnails look, you guys. Like, I hate it. But because my lighting is so trash in most of the places that I live in, like even this room right now, it's very difficult to take high quality pictures of the planner for the thumbnail. So I bought this little box and I'll be able to put the planner in there. It has its own high intensity LED light inside of it and it will show up so clear for the freaking thumbnails, you guys. So I'm very happy with that purchase. A girl is good. Okay, next, let's see, we ended shopping at 107.27 and I bought the Happy Planner Colorful Boxes sticker book and this is really for when I do my paycheck to paycheck budgets using these boxes but I don't know I might get into some other kind of planning I don't I don't know we'll see okay so let's see what we have left overall Okay, so the first category, and I always just go in order up here. The first category is groceries. <clears throat> so we have 186.81 left over, and I'll actually be going to get groceries today. Personal household, we have $20.87. Miscellaneous, we still have 111.73. Excuse me, restaurants, we still have $45.36 which is pretty good because I needed about $50 to be left. Supplements, I'm done buying supplements, but I still got $274 left. Travel, we ended at $585.45. Gas, $625. Shopping, $9204. Business is negative $19.90. Right, yeah, and then Starbucks. I'm done with that, but 305. So we still have $1,034.40, which means if we subtract what we had left over last week, which was $1,692.98. This week we spent six fifty eight fifty eight. And this is what we got left over. So I think that that should be pretty good, especially considering the largest part of my budget was the travel expenses, which I don't have any more of. Um, 
do I want to purchase it's March right April May June July no that's four months from now okay yes yeah, so I'll still basically have this $600 left over till the end of the budget shopping I don't think I'll do very much more of I should be good with gas really the majority of my expenses from here on out is going to be groceries and probably some more stuff out of miscellaneous more than likely but outside of that that's really it so yeah I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave down in the comment section how your March is going thus far. Please thumbs up this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. But other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.